Hello, I'm Youssef and this is Bugface, where the world's weirdest creepy crawlers prowl and frolic across your favourite faces. This is today's crucial creature, ready to give a frightening facial to Kimmy K from James and Kimmy. This smiley, confident female human being is also half of the YouTube duo James and Kimmy. Their positive channel is chock full of story times, challenges and vlogs. Kimmy speaks fluent Kikuyu, and having studied acting and dance, she loves to bop, hop, and boogie. Let's hope she can jitter with our bug. Meet Oreo Fetis Peruana, or as we know him, Perry. Perry is a Peruvian stick insect, or fire stick, from yes, Peru, which is in South America. This is just one of 3,000 species of stick insect. So let's see if Kimmy sticks around. Kimmy and James, welcome to the Bug Snug. Make yourself at home. Like I will try, do. but yeah. my house does not have a tank, so. No, this is called a vivarium. Um, it's Latin for box of terror. Oh, I'm scared. That's why I'm so speechless right now. Normally, I'm the loud one out of both of us, okay. but today I'm speechless. My hands have just been shaking. I can feel your shakes. They're coming over to me. I've started to shake. <laughs> Where you've been shaking, I'm like this, moving off the edge of the chair. So when you're at home, who is it that deals with spiders in the bathtub? Really? Me. Okay. Only because they're tiny and I can sneak right. up on them. But for this one, I can't sneak up on it and it's on my face, so I can't avoid it. They're going to sneak up on you. It's exactly oh, that. Oh, this no, is coming no, straight no. to you. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. Do they know that? I don't know. We should tell them. Now, James, are there any bugs in particular that you think Kimmy would really not appreciate having on her face? Anything bigger than her thumbnail. But if it's smaller than your fingernail, it can fit up your nose, it can run in your ear. Oh, no, that one I don't mind because it's tiny. I won't notice it, so my focus is not on the bug. But okay. if it's massive, I can't look anywhere but at the bug, so... OK, Kimmy. Yep. It is time to meet... Perry. Oh! Okay. What is that? OK, that's an interesting looking thing. What do you think? What is it? It looks like one of those little slimy bugs, but with more legs. So these guys are Peruvian stick insects, okay. also known as fire sticks. <sighs> oh, see, what's the fire? They get that from the colour. So you can see how the males, like that okay. one there, is bright red. The red, the fire, are they, are they dangerous? So they're actually poisonous if you eat them. I will come on to that in a minute, but don't eat them. And the scientific name for these guys is Oreophytes peruana. Uh, and these guys come all the way from South America, from Peru. Nice. Which one bites and doesn't bite? They all bite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you guys have met, how do you feel about them being on your face? Um, the male looks okay. This chubby one looks like it might take up more surface area. So these guys have a pair of thoracic glands from which they release a malodorous substance. So we will need you to wear goggles just in case it happens. What's the malodorous things? It sounds like something from Disney. <laughs> malodorous. Yeah. That means really smelly, nasty. Oh, nice. And I've got to sit in the car with you on the way back. So. Oh, yes. And like I said before, they are poisonous. So please don't eat them or have a little nibble. You did say you was hungry before you, before you <laughs> had to go in the chair. So let them know that you're not going to eat them. So are you cool with all those health and safety warnings? I have to be. You have to be. Because in that case, we have got a form for you to sign um, in case it crawls up your nose or down your throat. Oh, do you see that part? It says may kill you. No, don't read that. <laughs> <laughs> OK. It's time to put the bug on your mug and let nature take its course. Okay, Kimmy, are you ready for this? Not sure. Well, if at any point something doesn't feel right, we can take it off, so just let us know. Okay. Okay? <laughs> We've got some facts about Perry on the screen above you. You've got to read them all nice and clearly and precisely. The moment you go through them all, Perry can come off your face and you get to win your very own legendary BBC Earth Kids Bug Face Mug. Woo! How's that sound? Uh, brilliant. You seem so enthusiastic. Oh, babe, I'm so excited. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> it is time to infest your face. There we go. OK, oh, Perry yes. is now on your face. Right, there we go. That's just, it. You've got it. You've got it. Turn around so she's facing you. There you go, he's on your face, so whenever you're ready, can we hear that first fact, please? I forgot how to read. <laughs> <laughs> Perry is called a Peruvian fire stick because of his brilliantly coloured body, which serves as a Here he warning comes. to predators to back off. Can you back off my face, though? Can you feel it on your face? Yeah, proper, like, oh, it's like a weird feeling. 
What does it feel like? It's like loads of people poking my face all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready, can we hear that next fact? The male Peruvian stick insects are red and black striped, while the females are yellow and black striped. Brilliant, you're doing really well. Can we hear the next fact? Just Ooh. gone over your mouth. <laughs> Just on your left cheek. When disturbed, the Oreo fetis, fetis, Oreo fetis, peruana. That's it. Oreo fetis peruana. Ejects a nasty white liquid which repels other insects. This can be secreted as large drops or squirted out backwards from a thin yet powerful jet. And I think I can see some of that liquid on your face actually. Oh, don't. There we go. You doing all right? Yep. Good, good. Go Thanks, back, please. Oh. Wait, you okay, you okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm just waiting for it to just move. Okay. okay, there we go. This stream of chemicals is used against predators such as frogs, oh, my other enemy, and can cause temporary blindness. Okay, don't forget what's at stake here. The, the mug. The legendary. The legendary mug. Legendary. BBC Earth Kids Come bug on. face mug. Hold my hand. Okay. We can do this. Am I able to put it on there? On your face? On, on, on. Oh, on yeah, sure. Go for it. Look at the excitement on your face. <laughs> I know. He's really not your friend, is there he? There we go. Oh, he's holding something. Okay, can we hear another fact, please, Kimmy? Dick insects have poor eyesight and do not have ears, so they have to rely on sensing sound by feeling vibrations. Of That's it. So he can't see you very well, but he's using those antennae to sense where you are. I can feel it. Okay, take us away with another fact, please. But smell is their most important sense. Males smell receptive females who emit pheromones. Pheromones. That's it. That's pheromones it. are crucial to the species to make sure males can find and identify females of their own species. Can you smell any pheromones? No, but I think it could smell me. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay there, Kimmy? Yeah. Okay, give us another fact then, please. If a predator is after Perry, he can sacrifice one of his limbs by deliberately breaking it off with a severe self-induced muscular movement. The severed twitching leg can distract the predator and he can regrow a new one. That's nice. It. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. So he can actually sever his own leg to get away from predators. Oh, good job, Perry. Good job. I think he needs something else to climb on. Do you want to jump on in there, James? Happily. You can do this. If he stays there, then we're fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start him off on James mm -hmm. and hopefully he'll crawl across to Kimmy. And while this is going on, if you could give us the next fat, Kimmy, that would be great. Most stick insects can eat their own skin after they have molted it. This is to recycle proteins into cute... <laughs> and to keep their the location, location a, a secret, secret from, from predators. predators. Well done, guys. You did really well. That was the last fact. So be pleased to know Perry can come off your face. Oh, Yay. fantastic. And up. <sighs> How was that experience for you, Kimmy? I kind of like it was terrifying simply because even when you asked me to read mm. and I looked up, normally reading is automatic, it's something you do. As soon as you see the word, you know it. Okay. But I'd switch to manual reading because I could not read those words. Really? Like, oh. You just forgot how to read. You're so focused on what it's doing on your face mm. and I'm so scared at the same time, so it was a bit... Were there any positive things about it? Oh, it didn't excrete on my face, yes. so that's brilliant. That's always a plus. And what was the worst part about the experience? When it was going over my lips. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know, it's like, it's little claws that are like sticky. Mm -hmm. So when it was gripping my lip, I can really feel it. And then when it was somewhere up top, I could still feel it at the bottom. It kind of left like a little mm. tingling scent yeah. everywhere it went. So if you could describe the sensation, just t tingly. Yeah, tingly and a bit creepy. I think that was all the heavy breathing you was doing there, was it? Where you were panicking. <laughs> like... <gasps> <laughs> what surprised you the most about Perry? He was quite calm. Okay. And then he kind of wanted to get off my face, so I think we were in tune for that one. And we got him to walk across both of your faces, of course. Yeah. How did you find that? Oh, that one was great, simply because he spent half the time on James's face, and I was just <laughs> hoping, don't come to me, don't come to me, pretend I'm not here. I think it's because me and Perry built a bond together. You know, when I was trying to put him on your face in the first, yeah. first, uh, first attempt, which just wasn't happening, I think <laughs> he knew he wanted to come across mine, stay there for a little bit, and then wake his way over to you. Do you think he'd make a good YouTuber? Oh, 100%. Definitely. Really? Why, yeah. why is that? YouTubers are all up in people's faces. Perry was in my yeah, he face. Was there. So I think he's doing a great job. Congratulations, Perry, on making it through Bugface. And thank you for exploring Kimmy's mush. And Kimmy, you did awesome. Oh, really, really well. We're all really proud of you. I Guess tried. what? Guess what? What? You get to win the legendary BBC Earth Kids Bugface mug. There it is. I'd just like to thank my mum and James <laughs> for holding my hand. <laughs>
Don't forget you can see all of our bug faces plus loads more on the BBC Earth Kids channel. And you can also see James's episode where he had his very own bug on his face. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next bug face. Thanks for watching. <laughs>